Hello everyone, this is Mondan Raghavan. This video we are going to see the link tags in HTML5. Wherever you want to mention the reference or external links in our page, so we will be using the link tags. Here we have the HTML pages and here we can see our live server. So let's open this with live server and here you can see the HTML page. Let's say for example, I want to mention the google.com as an external reference. So we'll be using the a tag and href will be having the value of the external site value. Now I'm just having the google.com and I'm mentioning this link text should be search with Google. And saving. Here you can see the link text will be search with Google and link will be www.google.com. So whenever you mention the reference, it should be having the protocol as well. For example, in our case, it should be HTTPS. If you click on the link, it will be opening the google.com. However, it will be opening the same page. So if you want to open in another tab, so we'll be using another attribute called target equal to underscore blank. And save it, now go back again refresh the page one more time and just click on the search with Google. Now you can see the google.com will be opening in the another new tab. So however, this is the external sites. See, for example, now if you want to use the other pages as a reference, then you will be using the other same tag, a tag, a enter. Rather than mentioning the external site URL, you will be mentioning our own index.html. For example, for demo purpose, I have created the second.html. Here you can see it will have the default content and it will be having the same a tag. However, this a tag will be just repointing to the our index.html rather than mentioning the external sites. Now, if you go to the index.html, now we are just pointing to the our second.html and it will be like navigate to second page, just save it and just add the BR tag, save it. Now here you can see navigate to second page. In case if it navigates to second page, in second page we have the same A tag, but it will be navigating to the index.html and it will be having the link text as go to first page. So with that, we will be in the index page. So just click on that second page. You can see the second page at the same time. If you want to go back, you can make the chain URL go to first page and it will again go back to the index.html. There are another way to mention the href something like a tag. So before that we need to have some content. So for that reason, I will be adding the lorem p tag lorem let's say 500 enter and save it. Now here you can see a lot of content, text content. And if you navigate to the bottom of the screen, here you can see the end of the page. Whereas at the end of the page, if you want to go to the top of the page, you can mention the same A tag, A, enter. Just you mention the hash symbol. So the hash symbol means top of the page. Now again, save it. And here you can go and see. So it is in the same page. Now go to the bottom of the page. Okay, we don't have any content there. So for example, the link text will be top of the page. And save it. Now here you can see the link for the top of the page. If you click on that, it will just navigate to the top of the current web page. So these are the different ways we can use the A tag. Now let's say, think about the link tag. So generally we will use the link tag in the head sections. For example, you want to add the existing CSS file. So far we have not seen the CSS files or style sheets files. Generally it will be used to design our web page as an external source file. And it will be having the extension called .css. Here you can see the basic .css. For example, I am not doing anything very special. So I'm just adding the body tag. And under the body tag, I'm adding the background color as the a, a different color, medium foreign. So with that, just I can add this file so I can just design my web page. For example, it will be in my styles folder. Under that, it will be basics.css. 
just to add that one we can use the relative path so double slash and let's say styles styles and then let's say basics basics dot css and save it here you can see the color has been changed for the background so this way we can link the different files which are having the relationship with the current html file for example this relationship will be the style sheet in the similar fashion you can add the let's say javascript as well but a knowledge purpose too we will just understand this will be only for the linking the style sheet so now we have seen the link tag and a tag and a tag with the different combination like internal web page navigation and the external sites generally external sites will be avoided why because it will be considered as a cross origin siting so this is all about the very basic on the a tag and the link tag so thanks all thanks for watching and have a great day